hi friends welcome to this demo in this demo we'll be installing symantec backup exe version 2014 on windows server 2012 data center edition just a go through of my lab detail environments i'll be using vmware version 10 for this demo and here i have two servers one server will be acting as my domain controller and another server is a windows 2012 data center where we will be installing our backup exe version 2014 my domain controller ip is 10.10.0.1 and its fully qualified domain name is dc.myhomelab.local and it runs windows server 2012 data center edition and my another server where we will be installing backup exe version 2014 has an IP of 10.10.0.10 .10 .10 and the name of the system is backup exe 14 and the OS install is Windows Server 2012 Data Center Edition. In this demo, I will be covering the environment check, installation of Symantec backup exe version 2014, GUI menus and option. Now let's get back to the business. There, I have two servers installed on VMware Workstation. One is my domain controller. There you can see the IP address of the domain controller is 10.10.0.1. And another server also installed in VMware Workstation. It's 10.10.0.10. .10 .10. I'll just show you the details. There you can see. It's Windows Server 2012 Data Center Edition. Name of the server is Backup EXE 14 and IP address is 10.10.0.10. .10 .10. Now I have loaded the Backup EXE 2014 ISO. Now what all we new need to do is double click on this so that the installation kick started. There you can see Symantec Backup EXE version 2014. Uh, here I will be installing the trial version since I don't have the license. Click on OK. There we have a few options getting started pre installation, installation. Now I will be running the pre installation just to make sure that Symantec Backup PVC 2014 runs smoothly. Click on Backup EXE. Click on next. It's a local environment. I don't use a remote environment in this demo. Click on next. It will run an environment check and give you a few details. There you can see it has thrown some warnings. It has cleared the rest of the requirements. You can completely ignore the warning. The backup exe management is just a set of power tools. The Microsoft Windows assessment tool, it's not needed and I don't have semantic antivirus installed in this system. I'll just scroll down to make sure you understand this. Uh, it has passed the rest of the test that's required for this installation. There you can see the backup management command and interface is a Windows PowerShell module which I have not installed in this demo. You can completely ignore these two warnings and also I don't have semantic antivirus installed. This warning also can be completely ignored. I'm making sure that in this demo I am installing version 2014 trial version. Click on finish. Now the next step is to click on the installation. There we have three options backup exe, backup exe agent for windows and simplify disaster recovery. In this demo I will be using backup exe so click on install. The installation kick starts. It's quite a big process so I will pause the video right now and get back to you. There this is the first step after the installation has kick started. Accept the license agreement. Click on next. Typical installation and custom installation. In this demo, I'll be using the typical installation. But just give you a hint about uh, custom installation. If you want to go and install the agent for Linux system or VMware agents, you can go for custom installation, which I will not do in this demo. So let's go for the typical installation.
click on next we have already run the environment check so no changes in this scenario click on next if you want to change the path you can change and install on some other drive uh, based on your requirements click on next there it just try to connect to the internet fails since I don't have a valid serial number and just gives a message that this backup exe will run as a 60 day trial no issues with that click on ok uh, in this scenario you can import the semantic license file slf file if you have one or else if you have a paper license you can go for the serial number uh, since I don't have both of these I will go for the 60 days trial click on next there it shows that this is a trial copy no issues with that click on ok I'll give the administrator password here and click on next you can change the path if you require there the backup exe account has been added as a service and also as a logon batch time click on ok at the moment I'm not going to add any agent to my servers uh, if possible we will look about this step in the near future at the moment I will be clicking next I don't have any service or agents to add at the moment click on next there it gives a summary you can click on install the installation will take a little bit of time so I will pause the installation and get back to you I am we can click install there semantic backup exe will now install all these required components I will pause the video we can resume once these process are completed the installation is completed without any issues I'm not going to run the live update at the moment check out the view with me click on finish I'm going to skip the survey at this moment finish now what we have covered here is I have covered about environment check we got a look into the installation now I will be covering about the GUI the menus and options I don't see much difference between the 2012 edition and the 2014 edition double click on the desktop icon there you can see it's a trial version which we can use for 60 days if you have a registered ID with the Symantec you can download this trial version there you can see not much difference in the GUI menu options when compared to 2012 this job monitor is a new add-on option in 2014 this is not available in the 2012 edition this is a new add-on now I will check uh, just go through a short run with the menus first start with the icon you can connect to any backup service configuration and settings not any much change with the 2012 edition installation and licensing not much change online technical support help and documentation now let's have a look at the home screen uh, we have an add-on option called simplified disaster recovery it's used to create a rec disaster recovery disk you can add the storage here backup and restore uh, here also there is an add-on called create disaster recovery disk this add-on is not available in 2012 edition and also you can see this is a new option add-on option groups all servers and retired servers my current server is added here backup exe 14 job monitor is a new option in 2014 edition 
uh, we also had a similar kind of this option in the previous version apart from 2012 edition Symantec has brought that option in this edition which will give you details about the running job and histories storage not much change when compared to previous edition reports not much change when compared to previous edition that's the end of this video kindly do share your feedback which will encourage me to do more of these videos thank you for watching we'll get back in the next video thank you